paint your soul. I'm Dallin J, and I am grateful to be your guide today. Today we're going to be creating a beautiful galaxy on this pair of Adidas Young 96 shoes. And it's inspired by elements from the intro to the original Pokemon series. And after we're done painting, we're going to add these patches to help complete the look. Many things can be your canvas, but today this will be ours. So first you're going to want to prepare the shoes, make sure that they're clean and dry, make sure to block off any section of the shoe that you don't want paint to get on. Um, I like to use frog tape or in this case, froakie tape to uh, make sure it's, it's completely safe and paint's not going to get where I don't want it to. Now we'll use a variety of different colors to create our galaxy. I'm going to be using purple, pink, and blue. And then I'll also be using little accents of black, but depending on the color of your shoe, you might not need to do that. So first off, I'm going to get all the paints and get them on my palette. Oh, shoot. That's okay. You can, you can get a lot on there. Doesn't hurt to have a little bit extra. So I'm going to make sure to get all my colors, shake them up a little bit, get them on my palette. And speaking of palette, just like Ash and Red from the anime and the game, they start their journey in Palette Town. And just like they go on their journey visiting cities named after colors like Fuchsia, Celadon, Cerulean, Lavender Town, we too get to explore many colors on our palette and on our canvas today. So I think that's enough. Now to start with the painting. Okay, so gotta loosen up this brush just a little bit. There we go. Make it nice and loose. And our goal is to make either a Milky Way or just a different, a different nebulous of colors. And to do that, you want to start with the darkest colors on the outside and then work your way in with the pinks and the blues. But for this case, we're going to start with the blue on the outside. So just don't be afraid. Just get it in there. And I'm going to actually hold it like this to make it a little bit easier for me. Don't be afraid to get the colors in there. And don't worry, if you make a mistake, we don't believe in those. We believe in happy little accidents. And if this is your first time painting on shoes, just let you know, this is my first time as well. <laughs> so I'm glad we're taking this journey together. Okay, get a little bit of the blues in there. Then get the blue out. Some of the purple in there, add that on the side. Add it on the inside as well. And then add a little bit of the pink. Get the paint off of that one real quick. And if some of your colors start blending in a little too much than you would like, that's okay too. We love different shades of colors. And as they say in Pokemon, gotta catch them all, including uh, shades of, of paint. So be a little generous and blotch it away. You can be as generous as you want with these colors. And for a little fun, I'm going to put some of the blue over here. This will be our little secret, our little secret nebula over here. Add a little bit more purple. And get creative. Just let the galaxy move where you feel like it needs to go. 
and then blend in the colors just a little bit. Make it nice and smooth. Now this next part, uh, get a sponge. This one had a little love from my dog, Evie, but that's okay. These brushes are made to be used and that's okay if it gets a little worn down. So you'll use a sponge and just blotch in the colors. Just mix them up just a little bit. See, look at that. See how the, the colors are just mixing. It's getting a little bit of the light blue in there with the pink. And you can stretch it out just a little bit. That looks great. This is turning out better than I thought it would. Mix these ones over here. So now after looking at it, I can see that I, I, I left a little black right here. I'll just go back, get a little bit of the paint, and just add a little bit more. And galaxies are never the same. You can always make them as unique to your personality. Get the sponge, mix it away just a little bit more. If you want like a nice mixed texture, just brush it down, bringing those pinks down into the blue section. So that's, that's looking good on this side. Now let's get a little bit over here. I'm thinking I want the pink to be prominent on this side. So I'm just gonna get some over here. Don't be afraid. We're on this journey together. That's why Ash and Pikachu are always together. They can just help each other out. And don't be afraid if, if any of my techniques can use some improvement, I'm open to suggestions. Because here we're all about learning and you can teach me and I'll teach you. I'll drip it over here just a little bit, let it bleed in. Because yeah, this, this galaxy just wants to grow. And that's okay. It needs a little bit more purple though. Now, depending on your shoe, you might need to use some different additives to the paint. Since this isn't a cloth shoe, I don't need to add any of the, the soft additive. And if you have leather shoes, there's different additives for that as well. But for this one, it's just uh, the straight paint from, from the container. Now, to speed up the process just a bit, if you have access to a heat gun, that'll help you to move on from one layer of paint to the next because depending on how you want the shades of colors to be, you'll wanna use a heat gun. But before I do that, I'm just gonna blend these colors one more time. And you might be thinking, hey, my galaxy isn't looking that great. It's just a bunch of colors blotched together. The final step is really where everything comes together. So I cannot wait to get to that spot. Okay, so now we're ready to use the heat gun. Keep it on a lower setting. You don't want it to heat up too fast. And just evenly go over the paint. No need to rush. Okay, and then when that's done, take another look at your shoe. See if there's any other improvements you want to change, because now's the time to make these changes. And I think I'm liking where it's going right now. I might add a little pink on this side, um, but nothing too drastic. So let's start with that. Let's just add a little pink over here. 
Maybe it's a lot. Maybe it's a little. What are some of your favorite Pokemon? Mew, he is my favorite. And then Mewtwo, you gotta show respect to Mewtwo as well. I'd like to know what your guys' favorites are too. Then on the front right here, gonna add a little bit more of the pink because I really want the pink to pop in the front because I'm thinking this is where I'm gonna put the Mew patch right in the front. And then I'm gonna push out the, the pinks just a little bit. Push it out this way as well. Yeah, look at that, it's coming, it's coming together nicely. Have it a little bit more bright over here. And you can add as many layers as you want. And like I said, depending on the fabric of your shoe, you might need to add a little bit more than I am. That's okay. Take all the time you need. Art, art doesn't need to be rushed. Okay, now, just blotch them together. You want it to look transitioned from one color to the next. And the more mixed it looks, the better your galaxy will look. I get a nice little mixture right here. Just mix these colors together. One big melting pot of, of colors. And yours, your shoes are definitely gonna look different than mine. Just like how we're all unique and special in our own ways. Get a nice little mix there. And I think I, I'm satisfied. I, I, I'm liking where it's at right now. So once you get the galaxy the way you want it to look with the purples, the pinks and the blues, we're gonna add the final touch and my favorite part, adding the stars to the galaxy. So you wanna take two paintbrushes, one on the stick end and one on the brush end. Get a little bit of white paint on the tip of the brush one and you're gonna to want to tap and flicking the white paint onto your galaxy and the canvas. And this is absolutely my favorite part of this whole painting excursion. So let's dig right in. Just get all the stars in there as much as you can. And you can add as many or as little as you would like. And if in this process, some of the stars show up a little bit bigger than you would like, don't think of it as a mistake. Think of it as a happy little accident. And I'll just keep that between you and me. So let me just add a few more flicks. And I think we're good to go. Now we're gonna seal the paint just one more time with this heat gun. To make sure that everything is nice and dry. And now we're reaching the end of our time painting. Just like how Ash and Pikachu's journey is coming to a close in the anime series. But just like how they'll always be a part of our hearts, these shoes and the time we've spent together will remember forever. Okay, so I think before we add the final touch, we should probably clean up just a little bit. Okay, now that both pairs of shoes are done, they're cleaned, this one in particular had a couple spots of the paint bleeding into the areas that I didn't want painted. This is my first time painting, so happy little accidents happen. But as you can see, each 
of these shoes. I tried different techniques with them. Um, this one added a little Milky Way action uh, to really emphasize the different cosmic rays. This one's a little bit closer to the intro to the anime. Now most patches are iron-on, but if you want to ensure that they don't ever fall off, I would advise that you sew them onto the shoes. And there you have it, a beautiful one-of-a-kind pair of Galaxy Adidas inspired by the world of Pokemon. I hope this video has inspired you to think outside the canvas and try painting on something new, like shoes. Remember, art is not just limited to traditional canvases, it can be created on anything. So get creative, have fun, don't be afraid to experiment. Thank you for joining me on Paint Your Soul, and until next time, looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again.